Hi guys, this is Claudia Sisla and you're watching me on Bollywood Nazar. And what particularly I love about that is no gossip, only truth. And that's what I follow as well. Mwah. Today we have with us a beautiful lady who has created a mark in the industry of Bollywood and in the hearts of millions of Indian audience in a very short span of time. She made everyone groove to Obalma. At the same time, she made the television audience crazy and go gaga over her through Big Boss. Yes, I'm talking about the hottest Balma girl, Claudia. With her goddess body and amazing dancing skills, she made the country groove to well, O Balma. Let's talk and ask her about the books that she has penned. Hi, Claudia. Hi. Uh, welcome to. <laughs> thank you. Welcome to Bollywood, Nazar. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. My first question, basically, today I'm going to talk all about your book that you're releasing. Now we can say that from a model to an actress and now a fitness guru. Wow. You have written a book, right? Yes. Uh, keep eating, keep losing. That's right. So I'm going to ask all about that and little Bollywood things. Sure. So how and from where did this journey of writing a book start? Uh, you know, it has been like really long journey for me because uh, you can't just become an author, right, yeah, writer, yeah, health guru, as you said, uh, from uh, day to day. So basically, you know, obviously being in front of the camera, this is a part of your job to take care of yourself, to look good, look healthy, eat healthy. And, um, you know, uh, so basically it was a part of a job initially, but then it has become and turned into a passion, which I which grew inside me and I took it forward and then I have become a certified nutritionist also and then I decided uh, you know b because I have seen so much people and so much friend of mine who are like you know following a very unhealthy pattern of, of eating so I was just thinking if I have all the knowledge and I I have the capability to help people why won't I pen it down write a book which will you know um, ban all the myths and and unhealthy tips which are you know becoming kind of wow trend and all this stuff which is so much nonsense. so i thought let me write the book and let me spread the news and and the healthy living promote the healthy living as much as i can to you know make india a better place and and healthy that's, india that's amazing <laughs> make india a better place to live really. yeah uh, how did this you know uh, what is this book all about i want to know in detail about the book <laughs> Okay, if you cannot reveal everything, sure, sure. but few about it. All right, so you know, keep eating, keep losing is a um, holistic strategy which will basically assist and rather help uh, people to reorganize their life and make healthy living a part of their life. Basically, there are three components which I am putting uh, a bit of uh, stress on, which is healthy eating, exercise and rest, because the three components are very beneficial once you incorporate that in, 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 into your life. So, you know, um, like, for example, how they are um, bonded all together, I will give you a very simple example. Let's say you didn't rest properly. You slept instead of seven to eight hours, you slept only four hours because you went up for party, which happens sometimes. Means you have to wake up because next day work is there. So what do you, your body crave for sleep, right? You are, you are not really fit. Once you are not fit, you will be very moody. You will be like cranky. You will be get irritated very soon. So your mood swings are a lot. Basically cravings also will start because your, your body uh, craves sleep and if you are not getting it, it creates more sweets, basically sugar to get the energy to even stand and do your work. So your cravings are also there. Once you're having craving and irritating and all the stuff, so obviously once you're already tired, how will you even go yeah. to the gym and, and exercise? So this all three components are very intimately balanced together, you know? So, so that's why those are my points, my priority, which I'm talking about in that book. And uh, that definitely I'm showing all the benefits which you can get incorporating, incorporating those things inside your life. And I am not saying to make a huge change and, you know, put your life upside down. No, no, not at all. There are maybe few small tips which once you incorporate, you know, many, many more benefits you will get out of it. So that's what my book is all about. No starvation, no stupid things, no meds, no... no 
It's like it's like your this thing. No gossip, gossip. only truth. So no myths, only truth <laughs> about healthy living. My third question to you is: How much time did this process of writing a book took for you? You know, I didn't have really an appointment and a deadline which I had to say no till this and this time I have to finish my book. Nothing like that. You know, my move in between the release. So I was busy shooting. I was busy in my own work. I'm doing a lot of events. So I took my own sweet time. And plus, another point is I'm a professionalist. So, you know, whatever new research, new science will come in between, I would like to incorporate that inside my book. So, you know, the people, the audience, the readers will get the most think benefits uh, once once they are reading it. So I took my own sweet time. It took me nearly like one year to put all this information. I took my sweet own time and, so and write it with a... And yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, it's big time. And uh, once the, the book was really like kind of finished and I sent the final copy to Om Books International, who is publisher, um, you know, still after some time I said, wait, 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 wait. I want to change few things here in this chapter, here in that chapter. So I think they have been really, really patient with me. So thanks for that <laughs> to Om Books. But I think now I'm very, very happy with the final um, draft of the book, which is already in print. So very, very soon. I will be able to share with you the good news of publishing it. So how is this transaction from a model to an actor and now an author? How is this transaction? How do you feel being an author? Uh, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm not really thinking about myself as an author because uh, I think an author is someone who is continuously going to write more and more books. Obviously, I got the tag of being a writer right now, but I think it's more like sharing those uh, valuable information with, with people whom I love the most, people around me. I want them to be healthy, and uh, if I believe they can change their, their lifestyle in an easy, very easy way, which they can't, don't need to sacrifice about the taste of Indian food, or, you know, I'm also a foodie. We all love food. We don't want to compromise on that, right? So. I just wanted to share the valuable information and that was the most, uh, um, you know, the best way to do that was to write a book. That's, that's why I have decided. So I don't really see myself as an author, but rather uh, as someone who is giving you a help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in the Indian audience, do you think there is a misconception of dieting and starving? They have this complete misconception of, about... Uh, keeping their body healthy and all do you absolutely absolutely starving is the worst thing you can do to your body because the body continuously needs energy we need plenty of energy to even run and and be a part of the hectic schedule which we having especially living in bombay especially living in the metro uh, so you know starving is the worst thing it slows down your metabolism which is really something which you don't want to happen so that's what i'm also saying never starve you should eat. Have your three basic me basic meals, which is um, lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And in between, do snack also, and give that you know like power nap you are giving to your sisters. So, so you do that power snack, which will also help the body to rejuvenate and and bring some more energy into it. And so so you can run and finish your meetings and do your work and be back home and still meet your kids and be energetic, right? So your body continuously needs that that healthy snacks healthy energy as well so uh, that's why yeah starving is a one big myth if you want to lose weight definitely don't starve and uh, trust me the diet has been like people are paranoid hearing even the word about diet yeah. diet is not something you should be paranoid on and diet is not something which you should be on and it's a out yeah so uh, my point is and, and my point of view is diet or rather I, I would like to use the word healthy living is something which you should um, incorporate some parts into your diet and make sure that it is a part of your healthy living forever. So it's not something which you are following like the tox diet for, for 10 days and then you are coming back to your old unhealthy eating pattern which, which just doesn't make even sense. You are just wasting your time and really putting um, a lot of stress on your body which, which is not really a healthy idea to do. So yeah, so I, I would like to really bash that myth. Just bash it. Bash it. <laughs> <laughs> is there anyone who's inspired you to write this book? 
Uh, no, not really. Um, I have been a health freak myself, and. So you're uh, the one behind. You're the inspiration for yourself to write. The um, can I can say that there have been many friends of mine who, seeing me, how. Uh, I developed my lifestyle, how, what kind of diet I am following, how passionate I am about food, about diet, about healthy lifestyle, about nutrition. They also pushed me somehow to say, like, why don't you write? Why don't you spread the news? Why don't you help another people? Why don't you do this and that? And somehow that seed was growing inside my head. And one day I said, no, I think I should really do that. They're right. They're right. I should do that. So, so yeah, my friends, my dear ones, uh, definitely pushed me a bit. And uh, yeah, after I hearing so <laughs> much about your diet, I want to know from where does this journey start of being fit and uh, taking all the beneficial way to keep yourself really attractive and maintain. From where does this journey start? Uh, from the childhood, you were so uh, disciplined about eating food and all. Like usually in our childhood, we all eat a lot of junk food. So were you like that or you were like those disciplined ones that I have to eat this and I have to eat that? Like oh, that. Let me tell you the truth. That's another long, long story. But let me make it short for you. I have not been a sweet kid. <laughs> that innocent <laughs> face doesn't say is it all. So I basically dedicated keep eating, keep losing to my parents okay. because they went through torture with me. And trust me, when I was like a kid or since my youngest age I used to hate to eat this was a torturous thing for me to do my jaw was paining while chewing the food so I was like anti eating kind of stuff so my parents probably would, would sitting like two hours um, on the table with me to feed me and make me eat and, and just wait till I will finish that meat. So they really had to like force me. Otherwise I would have been like probably 15 cages only <laughs> forever. So um, I, that's why I dedicated the book to my parents. But also that, that experience took over and in a later stage of my life, um, I really landed in hospital because um, I exercised a lot being a model and actress and then I didn't eat properly on the beginning of my career. That's why my body collapsed. And then I started educating myself and reading and, and started uh, you know, consulting other people and um, meeting other models and actors that time, how they are doing it. And that's how the journey has become and um, um, begun. And that's how I really got to know what food does to what. what what the nutrition what yes what we are supposed to do what we are supposed to eat so um, yeah food was that's another journey which I also learned from which we all do mistakes and we have yeah, to learn from it from yeah so I learned from it and but yeah exercise was one point which from childhood I was really mad about so till today I I really have a good exercise routine I'm doing like uh, beat gym sometimes beat cardio beat yoga beat horse riding which is like yeah, this is like, oh, I love that. <laughs> so many, many things I like to explore and I like to do many things. But um, so yeah.